Are you into living room makeovers? Did you like this one? Are you gonna like and subscribe? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alexandra and today I have a really fun makeover for you. It is a living room makeover. In this video, I have seven easy ways to update your living room. So my goal in this video is to give you guys really simple tips that will make big changes in your living space. A lot of people reach out to me and they have these spaces, they know what they like, they know their style, but they just don't know where to start. So I'm hoping that even if you implement one or two or maybe three tips from this video, your living room will feel more stylish, more homey, and more like you. Okay, so let's get started. Callie reached out to me and she said, come help with my apartment. It's actually a pretty big space for a Toronto apartment. It's beautiful. She has a really good sense of her own style. She loves plants. But the struggle with her apartment, specifically her living room, is that it's quite narrow. A few things that I noticed right off the top that were making it feel a lot smaller, she had this kind of large desk on the side to hold her TV. It looked really clunky in the space and the cord clutter was just kind of out of control. There was nowhere to store the cords because the desk was open at the bottom. And I was just right off the bat was thinking like, this isn't a good use of media storage. It doesn't really serve her and it's taking up a really large part of this room. Another thing that I noticed is that Callie didn't have a rug, so it didn't feel warm or cozy. She also has this window that looks out to this shared outdoor space. Super awesome outdoor space, but when there's people on there, it looks as if you are like living in a pub patio in the summer, if that makes sense. I literally thought that there was like a pub on her roof because there was just so many people. And so when she was sitting on her couch, she felt really kind of like exposed to the outside. She couldn't leave her curtains open, which meant that in the summer, her living room was really dark. And I feel like the summer is when you want to let all the light into your space. And I felt like the kind of main overhaul that was needed in this space was just to bring some personality. So function and personality. So without further ado, the first thing I'm doing in Callie's space is preparing it. I am filling holes in her walls. I am painting over those holes. I'm just using some putty and a putty knife. If you guys wanna know how to fill a hole in your apartment, click my kitchen makeover. I do like a brief little mini explanation. So I actually went out and color matched um, her existing wall color. I just went to the paint store. I took a little like chunk of her wall. Might sound weird, but I just, with an X-Acto knife, took a small square of the existing paint. And then I went to the paint store and I said, hey, can you color match this. Now just make sure you guys don't freak out when the paint goes on lighter than your existing wall color. I promise you it will dry darker and color match your existing color. The next thing I'm doing is taking down the curtain rod and all the curtains. I'm replacing these entirely. I'm going to do something really fun on this window to give her a bit of privacy. But before we get into that, I'm actually addressing this corner by her couch. Oh, also let's talk about this insanely beautiful couch. This is from Article. It's probably one of my favorite couches ever on the market, which is a bold statement I know. I was actually gonna get this couch for my own space. I love it so much. It's this rich blue velvet. It is so comfortable and it fits so nicely in this little space in her living room. If you guys are in the market for a couch, I'd highly suggest that you check out Article. I've linked them down below and the specific couch. They deliver into your home. Um, they set up the furniture for you, which is amazing. They have a really great return policy and their stuff is just really beautiful, but really affordable. For a blue, beautiful velvet couch, you're spending just over $1,000. If you have ever shopped for a couch before, you know that this is a sweet deal. <laughs> Anyways, in this corner, it's feeling a little bit dark. So this is actually my first tip, is to add in lots of cozy lighting wherever you can in your living room. I feel like a living room is a lot of the times in a smaller space, kind of like the gathering space, because usually rental kitchens aren't that big. So this is where you're gonna be hanging out with your friends, and lighting makes such a difference, it makes it warmer, it makes it feel cozier. So I am actually just going to hang a very simple pendant. These are really inexpensive. They're renter friendly because you don't need to hardwire anything. They're plug-in. It just gives off such a beautiful glow beside the couch with this vintage bulb. And it's also not like super intrusive, you know? It's not like a wall sconce in your face. It's just a lovely hanging pendant and completes this corner and makes it look so Instagram friendly. If I do say so myself. If I do say so myself, if I do say so myself. 
Next up, I am tackling this window. So my next tip is to use window film um, in your rental space. Obviously you can't replace windows. You need as much light as possible. I feel like especially in a basement, but if you're worried about people seeing in, if you want a little more privacy, use window film. It's also really great in bathrooms and it's just such an easy, quick fix. I'm bringing in my good friend, Danny Berger to help me. You guys will know why she's here later in the video. So stay tuned. I found this window film on Amazon. It's really, really affordable and it goes on pretty easy. It's not sticky, which is nice. So you use soapy water and you just spray it all over the window and then it clings to the window and you squeegee the water out from under the film. Really easy to install and you can move it around a little bit cause it's not sticky. It just clings to the window, which is nice. We intentionally didn't cover the bottom only because Carla was like, Guys, I would be, I would feel so weird to be like trapped inside and not be able to see out my window. Like what if there was a noise? And I was like, that's so true. I think it's nice to see a little bit of the outdoors. So I've left the bottom section. The top was kind of like the main problem area because that's kind of at the level where people were sitting. But now this way, it's kind of like if you looked at the bottom part, you could just see their legs. If that makes any sense. Anyways. I'm putting the couch back now that the paint and the putty has dried and I am hanging a mirror above this couch. This is an Umbra mirror from Amazon. It's linked down below in my Amazon shop. A mirror is such a great way to add lots of light in a space. It looks decorative. It also bounces off the light from the window and just kind of gives the illusion that your space is a little bit bigger than it is. I went for a simple black frame. I think it looks really nice with the pendant and it just kind of completes this little nook. Next thing I'm doing is finally changing the curtain rod and the curtains. I say finally because I feel like this is gonna make such a massive difference in this room. And this is actually my second tip is to bring patterned curtains into your living room. It's just a nice way to add an element of decor, add an element of um, your style and provide function to block out the light, obviously. I've gone with these really beautiful curtains that have yellow lines on them. These are from Society6. You could go for something textured if you're more of like a neutral person. You could just go for something textured, maybe something with pom-poms on it or some tassels. I'm not not saying bring in color if that's not your thing, but do go for something textured and I guarantee it's gonna make your space look super cute. So my next tip for your living room is to add a decorative focal point with floating shelves. Part of bringing in your own style to any room in your house, but specifically your living room, is to display all those things that mean something to you. If you guys have seen any of my rental reno videos, you know that I love a good knickknack, and I really do think shelving helps bring in your personality and show off all that stuff that means something to you. So in this little alcove, I'm adding three floating shelves, and later on in the video, I'm going to style them with things that mean something to her. The next thing I'm doing is changing out the boob light. Not, you know, a new concept for this channel. I change out lights whenever I can. And I have gone with this kind of modern feeling um, pendant. It has all these cool arms. It gives off lots of beautiful light and you can actually move the arms around. So Callie can kind of like maneuver it in any way that she wants. I love this hit of gold. It adds a little bit of like glam to this space and I think it works so well with this blue velvet couch. Blue and gold, such a good pairing. I'm also touching up the ceiling with some white paint just because boob lights, if they've been there for a while, they tend to add like a ring around your ceiling. So we're just touching it up with some white paint to make it blend in a little bit better. This is my fourth tip. This is a pretty cool one kind of thinking outside the box a bit, and I'm so excited about it, to look for alternative media unit storage. Now, as I mentioned before, Callie had this desk situation that was jutting out. It was making her living room feel much narrower than it already was. I wanted to do something different. So I enlisted my good friend, Danny Berger, to come in and do a DIY. And Danny thought of the most genius DIY ever. It's what she does. And she actually made a Oh, render friendly fireplace that is going to hold her TV and keep all of her cords clutter free. So I'm gonna let her bring this into the space and explain what she's done. Okay, here it is. The faux fireplace that's fabulous and fantastic. 
So alternative media unit. So the inside here is going to have her record player down there. Nice little place. You can put some records on the side, some of your favorite. Thinking we're gonna dress it up with some lights inside. So here's a really cool thing about this is that in behind, I left the two pillars um, open so that we could hide cords in it, right? Yeah. The next tip is actually pretty simple. No money is involved. It's actually just to move your furniture around. Once Danny actually brought this piece into the space, we were all, like all of us, were kind of looking at the space and we were like, it just doesn't feel right. And I was kind of laughing to myself because Ka that's why Callie enlisted me to work on this space. She was like, I've moved my furniture around a million times. I just can't figure this puzzle out. And all of a sudden, like we were so certain that we knew where everything was gonna go. And once we brought all the elements into the space, it just wasn't feeling right. But I actually wanted to include this in this video um, because this is part of the design process. And I think sometimes you just have to move everything around. You have to try different things and just like, keep going until you have a good layout. And even if you don't take any of the tips from my video, but you just are inspired to move your living room around, sometimes that's all it takes to feel like you have a brand new space, quite honestly. Also comment down below if you are like me and have maybe woken up in the middle of the night and be like, I, I gotta move the rug. I, I just like, I have to switch the rug. Or am I just weird? <laughs> So we actually switched everything around so that the fireplace is to the left when you walk into this space. And that means that the TV isn't a focal point in this room anymore. The way we had it laid out before, we tried like it, the fireplace on every wall. The TV, because it's so large, was just so in charge. It just didn't feel right. I didn't want Callie to walk into a made over room and like the first thing you see is a TV. So I think it works really well actually facing away from everything else because you don't see it right away unless you're actually sitting on the couch which is opposite the TV. I have this gorgeous print from Society6. Callie picked this out personally. She fell in love with it and I love the scale of it. So I'm putting this above the couch. It just feels so much better to now walk into this room, you don't even notice the TV. All you see is this deep blue velvet couch and this gorgeous print. All it took was a little maneuvering, a little bit of elbow grease and sweat. <laughs> but we finally found the perfect place for everything. So Danny is just finishing up styling the fireplace. She's added some fairy lights. She set up Callie's record player. It's so cute. I'm putting this Monstera plant in the corner just to hide all of the cords um, that are going into the outlet. So there is absolutely no cord clutter anywhere. So my last tip is to actually thrift larger pieces of furniture like tables and chairs. Callie wanted um, a dining space in this living room. That was one of her asks. Now, I didn't actually thrift this table or chairs. Yes, my tip is to thrift furniture and I didn't actually follow my own tip. But in my defense, any of you have thrifted, you know that there's a lot of like follow up. You gotta message the person a million times. Guys, time crunch, gotta produce these videos. I wanna know in the comments what you guys love to thrift. And if you guys have any tips for thrifting, I would love to know. It's something I wanna get better at. Let me know tips for thrifting because it is such a narrow space, I went for a round bar table. If you live in a small space like Cali and you want to fit a dining table into your living space, go for a bar table that's tall and round. And here's why. It looks like it doesn't take up a large footprint because it's not long, um, but this table has so much surface area so Cali can work, she can eat breakfast. And a bar table like this means that you can get stools that will tuck right underneath the table. So it's compact, but you're still getting that large work surface, which a lot of people want in a small space. I actually got this table from Article. Again, Article, love you. This table is so beautiful. And then I didn't spend a lot on the stools. They're from Amazon, um, but they're black, they're sleek. They have that gold accent that ties in with the wall sconce. Again, it's just like kind of this compact dining area that still feels really separate from the living area. I'm adding this beyond beautiful rug from HomeSense. HomeSense, what a stunner. What a winner. It's textured, it's cozy, but it's still in this beautiful pink color that kind of neutralizes all the blues. So I've actually laid this down vertical rather than horizontal just to keep those two areas separate. Rugs are a great way to separate different areas in a small space. 
And the last thing I'm doing is actually styling those shelves I talked about earlier. I'm adding in a plant, a couple of candles. I'm stacking Callie's books horizontally and vertically just to add like a bit of style to these shelves. It's really easy, guys. Just take all of your stuff and make them look, just make it look beautiful. Just put things on display and you have this instant focal point in your space. The last thing to go in is the coffee table that Callie already had. And I'm just using a tray on the bottom to corral all her remotes. So they're in one place, she knows where they go, and they're kind of tucked away. I love this coffee table. I thought it was thrifted, but Callie actually told me that she got it from Ikea. So cute. All right, guys, let's bring Callie in. I always get so nervous when I bring people in to reveal these spaces because I want them to like them. <laughs> but I think she's gonna like this space. I feel like I've ticked off all the boxes that she asked for and it feels like hugely more homey and comfortable and more like her style. Let's see what she thinks. One, two. Ah! Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, that looks so different. I love it. You oh my like god, it? I love it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it actually looks like a different place. <laughs> this is great. Oh my gosh. I just want to like look around and yeah, touch everything. Yeah, do it. Table that you can work at. And I can eat there. You can eat there. Oh my gosh, and the art. And it's still like, I feel like the colors are like still so my vibe. And oh my gosh, I love it. Oh my god, you're the best. <laughs> And then we put the window film on the top. Glorious. We left the bottom open just so you like could see some of the outside. Yeah. <laughs> but I feel like no, now it's amazing. we have so much more privacy. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, this is so great. Okay, I want to turn on the lights for you too. I just feel so different. Doesn't oh my it? God, I love the light. Like it's so nice. Oh, and Florence has a spot. <laughs> Florence. I love is that her name? I love her. I love it. Oh yeah, so gosh. it hides all the cords back there. Yeah. And then the cords are tucked into the fireplace. Oh my gosh. Back. Danny left a little spot for it. And there's so much light. Oh, she did such a good it's job. A pleasure. I'm so glad you're happy. Oh, I love it. Yay. Yay. Where's the weight? Where's the weight? And all the like shenanigans. <laughs> This is nice too, it's black, it's so yeah. nice. I love this and the plants. Yeah. And there you guys have it. I really hope that you guys can take some tips away from this video for your own living room to make it feel more homey and cozy. Let me know in the comments below what videos you would like to see coming up. I would really love to know, cause yeah, I wanna know what you guys wanna see and I wanna make videos that you wanna watch. Thank you so much as always for watching and I really hope to see you here next Friday. Okay, bye. Are you gonna like and subscribe? Have you like, you had a subscribe? He hasn't subscribed yet.